So what started as a trickle of foreign recruits going to fight the Syrian regime has turned into a flood, we're told, trebling in pace since the chemical attacks around Damascus in August. This smuggler in the last few months shipping across 400 people. He shows us near where he delivers foreign jihadis straight to al-Qaeda-linked militants sweeping to power in Syria's anarchic north. When the people inside call us, asking us to come, then we get a car and head there, to the borders. Then we walk. We walk for about half an hour or so. Then when we get there, they kneel down and pray, weeping. So deep, so emotional. When they reach their destination, it's as if they met the most beloved among their families. They believe that the land of Syria is the promised land, where the rule of God will be established. Based on the prophet's tradition, the last battle before Judgment Day will be in Syria. Even the plain of the assembly before Judgment Day is supposed to be here. This Iraqi jihadi was shaking with excitement about his one-way trip the next morning. First of all, I'm thrilled about going into Syria. God willingly, there is no fear. I came into Syria first hoping for God's approval and secondly asking for his heaven and victory. I can die any time. I will die when I'm supposed to. 